I'm Ann Feeney, and you're welcome to my hometown, Pittsburgh. This is the Allegheny River. That's the Roberto Clemente Bridge. That's PNC Park over there where the pirates play. And uh, just beyond the Allegheny here, you can, if, you can practically see the point. Of, uh, and that's where the Allegheny joins the Ohio, just like Woody said. And as we go across here, this used to be the headquarters of Gulf Oil, and I don't even know who is renting it these days. The big uh, triangular rusty tower is, used to be the headquarters of U.S. Steel. They changed their name to USX, and they finally pulled out, and uh, UM, UPMC now is the biggest employer in the region. Uh, that's BNY Mellon. Ugh. And... Uh, can't see some of my favorite buildings. Well, that's okay. We've got a that, used to, that used to be the most wonderful place uh, where you see the uh, phallic thing coming out of the roof. Um, it, it was the Jenkins Arcade and it, it hosted hundreds of little merchants, button stores, zipper stores. It was the coolest building. Uh, now it's Highmark Blue Cross, but it's not as cool. <laughs> Brigade. Hi, we're happy to be here in Pittsburgh where the Almanac Trail should begin, home of the labor movement. And uh, Ann Feeney's here behind me, and I'm happy that she's here. And the Steelworkers Union Hall started it last night. One of the longest running radio programs in the country is going to continue it this morning. That's right. Having us. Uh, the Almanac Trail. Oh, you are recording now. Right? Okay. <laughs> Let's go for the real one. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Anne has a potty mouth. <laughs> One, two, three. From the Allegheny to the Ohio, they joined up in the CIO in Pittsburgh. Lord God, Pittsburgh. I'm George Mann. I'm Rick Pleary. And I'm Ann Feeney. We're on the Almanac Trail. And you're listening to the show that gets your weekend off to a good start, the Saturday Light, Light Brigade. Brigade. Saturday Light Brigade. Ah, close. Hi, my name is Hetty Schofield. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I work for Communications Workers of America. We were involved with the concert last night for the Almanac Trail through Jobs with Justice. And issues here in Cleveland, Ohio are about jobs. The economy is poor, and we're looking for jobs. Monica? I'm Monica Hogan. I'm Hetty Schofield's partner. I also work for the Communication Workers of America here in Cleveland. Main issue that I've been working and dealing with is the coalition building and it's because it doesn't matter whether it's a voters right issue, whether it's a jobs and economy issue or you know a union issue, we need help if, you know all the way along and everybody needs to be stepping up to the plate to help each other out.
land. Now are our unions here to stay? These multinational bastards don't use tanks and guns, it's true. But they declared a war on us. Fight back, it's up to you. Oh, it's a war on the workers. War on the workers. Oh, it's a war on the workers. It's a war on the workers. Oh, it's a war on the workers. And it's time we started calling the shots. Going to work. Could be the death of you and me, but we're not unarmed. Our weapons, solidarity. Jim Beals and Karen, so what all this list goes on and on. With every year that passes, countless thousands more are gone. It's a war on the workers. It's a war on the workers. Oh, it's a war on the workers. It's a war on the workers. Yes, it's a war on the workers. And it's time we started calling the shots. Solidarity forever, solidarity forever, solidarity forever, for the union makes us strong. All the world that's owned by idle drones since hours and hours alone. We have laid the wide foundation, built it skyward stone by stone. It is ours not to slave in, but to perish as our own. And the union makes us strong.